know about Taobao but don't know where to start, you're in the right place. So today, I'll be showing you how to create your Taobao account. Uh, it's important to set this up correctly so you have an easier time using Taobao. For account creation, you can do it through mobile or desktop. But we'll be using the desktop method as there is an English version. So let's start! Okay, step 1. Type in world.taobao.com on your internet browser. Step 2. At the right hand side of the orange bar, select Mian Fei Zhu Te, which is free login, and a new tab will open. Step 3. At the new tab, we'll first change the language to English, which is at the top right hand corner. If you would like, you can leave it in Chinese if you're comfortable with that as well. So, step 4. In the mobile phone view, ensure that your country code is selected accordingly. So most of us will be selecting Singapore plus 65 unless you've got an international number. Once your country code is settled, you can key in your mobile number. Do note that your Taobao account and verification code will be tagged to this number, so make sure you don't have a typo. This also means each mobile phone number can't have more than one account. Okay, so next step, step 5. Once your mobile phone number is keyed in, slide to verify. And step 6. So you'll probably see the small box at the bottom asking if you want to create your Alipay account by your Taobao account. For those of you who don't know, Alipay is kind of like PayPal, which is a platform for payments and or all e-wallets. So when you're paying for your purchases on Taobao next time, you can decide if you want to use Alipay as an e-wallet where you can top up money or just add credit cards to Alipay which is what I do personally. So I recommend that you check the box and create your Alipay account using your Taobao account. Um, this will help ease up your whole process. So once that's done, you can click next. Step 7. Key in the verification code that is sent to your mobile phone and you will most likely receive it through SMS. Step 8. Set your login password and username. And mine is Dai Ta Zui Bang because I want to say I like the way. So once you're logged in on your desktop and you want to um, log in on your mobile phone as well, you first have to download the app. Um, it will most likely be the first app search that you see. And then you download it. Okay, so click open and you'll be prompted for like some terms and agreements, whether you want to add your notifications, uh, whether you want to change it to the Singapore site, which I'll say yes. Okay, go to the last tab at the bottom and you'll be asked to log in. So you log in, you actually can decide whether you have to log in through your mobile phone number or your username. So mobile phone number is quite direct, I'll just show how it is using your login username. My password. And then you're logged in. So that's how you do it. So once that's done, you'll be always logged in on your phone. You won't be prompted to log in again unless you log out. Uh, whereas for desktop, it's a slightly different. Usually, it will time out after a while um, and you'll be prompted to log in again. For desktop, you can select the option of uh, remembering your username and password so you can always just click sign, uh, sign in immediately without having to key in all. Alternatively, you can also use your mobile phone to log in for your desktop. So it's done by scanning a QR code. So when you go to the home page, at the top left hand corner, there's a icon that shows like a QR code scanner thing. So you can just click that and on your desktop there will be a QR code that appears. So you just have to scan the QR code and click verify which is quite like your sync pass when you're logging in. So that's all. Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you're one step closer to being a Taobao Pro. <laughs> so don't forget you can add us as a friend on New Nine Zui Bang which translates to dating is best when you we can play Taobao games together, which we'll talk in our episode. But um, in the next episode, we'll be talking about how you can set up your account, such as your address, your payment, so and so forth. So don't forget to watch that. And to end off, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell button, so and so forth. Okay, bye!